It may be infinite, but in the neighbourhood of Earth, space is running out. This animation shows more than 20,000 pieces of space junk being tracked as they hurtle around our planet at speeds of 15,000 miles an hour. As the amount of orbital debris increases, so does the risk to multi-million pound satellites. And accidents do happen. A Russian and an American satellite have crashed in an unprecedented mid-orbit collision. No one knows why the crash happened, but it has scattered hundreds of bits of debris into space. And that... that event prompted major satellite companies like this one in Stevenage to think about how to tidy up space. And the idea that Astrium has settled on is not so much Moonraker as more Moby Dick. When it comes to the challenge of cleaning up space, the engineers here have put to one side lasers and tractor beams and come up with a more tried and tested, reliable technology, the space harpoon. It's very important that when you capture space junk that you don't create more debris. So what we're trying to come up with is a very simple and reliable uh, method to capture the junk. Um, it's uh, pretty straightforward, there's nothing complex to it, um, but it does mean that we can have lots of harpoons in one mission. The idea is a chase satellite would approach a piece of space junk and harpoon it from 20 metres away. The host or chaser satellite would get it under control um, and then tow that item of space junk back into the atmosphere safely uh, so that it burns up. And then the mission would, would continue, we'd go to another item, uh, deorbit that and then continue. So basically in a year we would do about 10 objects. There are competing ideas. The German space agency DLR are doing zero gravity tests on this projectile net for bagging space junk. Another idea uses a robotic arm for orbital litter picking. But once ground tests are completed on the harpoon, engineers hope to launch it for trials in space in about four years' time. Three, two, one.